ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನಮನಃ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯಕಿಪಾಸಿಂದುವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿತಾನಂ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧು ವೃಂದಾವಿತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ಹೇ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಂಗ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಯುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಪಚಂದೌನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತು ಕಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕರುಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬುದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧಾರುಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿಂಗಾ ತರಂಗರಮನೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವಧನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ 
ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಮಹಸೇವಾದಾರ ಮಾಹು ವಿಮುಕ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಾಮೋದಾರ ಜಶಿ ತಂ ಸಂಗಿ ಸಂಗ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವಾದಾರ ಮಾಹು ವಿಮುಕ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಾಮೋದಾರ ಜಶಿ ತಂ ಸಂಗಿ ಸಂಗ ಮಹಾಂತಸ್ತೆ ಸಮಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವಿಮಾನ್ನ ಭೋಜಿ ವಿಮಾನ್ನ ಭೋಸುಹಿ ದೋಷಾದ ಭೋಜೆ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವಾದಾರ ಮಾಹು ವಿಮುಕ್ತೆ ಸ್ತೋಮೋದಾರ ಜಶಿತ ಸಂಗಿ ಸಂಗ್ಯ ಮಹಾಂತ್ವಾಸ್ತೆ ಮಹತ್ತಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಮಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಭೀಮನ್ನವ ಸುಹಿದ ಸಾಧಭೋಜೆ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠೀಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರ ಬಹುಬ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ ಟು ಡು ಗುರು ಸೇವಾ and to engage gurudev in our seva is not same gauriya goshtipati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshtami jagat prabhu pa paramahansa jagat guru told to serve guru pad padma guru vaishnav and to take seva from them not same externally it seems it's all the same sila bhopad wanted to say when our desire i mean when our heart going to harmonize with guru vishnu totally when our heart i mean when my heart going to harmonize with my guru pad padmo totally bhopad used to speak one word dobhi tailed dobhi tailed dobhi tailed mean like one gla- glass jar you have na nice glass jar and you have the cap so when you are making it tight it's just appropriate you are tight popad used popad used to speak this word when disciple can get dovitelj with guru pad padmo then and only then all the power of guru pad padmo can go inside the heart of disciple i mean disciple can enjoy full kripa not for that when our heart and the heart of guru vishnu going to totally adjust harmonize in that get possible otherwise we can think oh guru ma is very happy i am doing this seva sometime we are thinking i am doing this seva gurudev is very happy ma but we are not going to take information about we are not going to take any information about what is the desire of guru pad follow that is the most vital point we ne- we never want to we never want to we never want to take information exact information what is the desire gur path we don't like to take we think i am doing the seva a uh, guru path i'm very happy follow sometime we are going to take decision ourselves and going to attribute on guru path a uh, gurudev guru told 
Gurudev never told. It is called auto-suggestive matter. By the help of this auto-suggestive matter, nobody can go up to that platform. Up to that platform. I mean, chin my platform, you cannot go. Okay, some spiritual thinking, some material thing mixed up. This can be there, mixed up. But we never want to take information about the exact desire of Guru Padma. Those who are genuine disciples, genuine disciples mean those who are 100% dedicated soul. Those who are already going to dedicate their life unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, they are totally dedicated. Nothing kept behind, nothing kept behind for their personal seva. He has strong belief that if I do Guru Seva, if I do Guru Seva, then everything I can. I need not keep separately. I need not keep money separately for myself because if I do Guru Seva, this is a Siddhanta, then everything can come in my life. I need not keep it separately. So when a disciple is 100% harmonized, in that case he can realize the heart of Guru Padma. I mean, without asking, without asking he can realize the heart of Guru Padma. And accordingly he can try to satisfy Guru Padma. Accordingly he can try. Some devotees can execute the order of Guru Padma. Some devotees can execute the order of Guru Padma according to his instruction. Somebody, even after giving instruction, not following. Yet, yet some other group, I mean some devotees you can find, those without asking can realize the heart of Guru Padma. That is called topmost seva. Without asking, Gurudev. He can realize the heart of Guru Padma accordingly, he can do. Some devotees, Griyastha or in renounce order, it's not a... Some devotees, they used to come and give some money to Prabhupada. Prabhupada is the amount. So, I want to arrange one bandara, big bandara. Some devotee coming with some, some money and putting in putting in front of Prabhupada. What is this? Uh, I want uh, I want you can arrange one big bandara here in the temple on those days uh, uh, on that particular day. Prabhupada speaking, you take your money, you take your money back. I cannot take your money. Why? 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 I cannot take your money, you take it back. Why? Who is Guru? Who is Guru? You Guru? Prabhupada speaking, you. Point is that, for what Prabhupada wanted to say exactly, that your responsibility is totally lying with me. Your good and bad, if you believe me, that I can arrange hundred percent mangal for you, then you need not suggest me. You need not suggest me how to spend this money. You need not say in front of Gurudev how I can suggest. This is the amount somehow we arrange. Because Gurudev is not foolish. Gurudev is not foolish. When all your good and bad, all your responsibility you are going to real, you are going to depend upon me about your good and bad, then why you are going to depend upon your own self about this money, how to spend, what to spend? Many times I told, whatever resources 
whatever things coming in our seva, all should, all should be channelized through one channel. All should be, all should come through one channel. Should be channelized. Otherwise they are scattered. Mismanagement will be there. Whatever we are going to do, we are going to put in one place. He is not going to, he is not going to spend anything. He is not going to say, Maharaj, we can do this. No. Follow. It is the responsibility of Prabhupada. All whatever I want come on this way. And through this channel we can spend money, whatever expenses, whatever seva we need to do, that we can do. That's why many times Prabhupada is, used to say that we dip, we always believe in we always believe in Ekayan Pantha. We always believe in Ekayan Pantha. So dangerous this money is. Seva amount what coming so dangerous like fire. If mistakenly, if mistakenly I am going to take one rupee, I can burn down myself. That's why everybody know how I am maintaining account. Whatever amount for seva, all gosala, okay, that's why. But whatever, because that was my responsibility. But here, all, everything I am being charged. Mistakenly, I have not done purposely, mistakenly, 10 rupees I am going to enjoy. Mistakenly, I have done not purposely. I forget that this amount coming for Prabhupada, I use it for myself. Big danger. That's why it is good. Don't try to take any decision yourself. Always try to ask, always try to ask Gurudev or Prabhupada, Prabhupada, uh, this amount already coming, which seva we can do, what you prefer. Not that auto-suggestive matter. I can put this amount for this seva. Gurudev not speaking. Gurudev not speaking. They, Gurudev, it is the responsibility of Guru Vaishnav Bhagavan, I mean Prabhupada. They can twist. I need not take any decision myself. I cannot. I cannot take any decision. It's called big danger. So, common people, their intellect, their judgment cannot reach up to that far. Follow. I like to speak so fine Siddhanta Vichar, I am sure they cannot go up to that far. Because I know they are not 100% 100, 100 inclined. That's why I say I am sure. Otherwise I have no right to speak. Sure. I am over sanguine. What I mean to say, they cannot realize up to which point you will have to go, how much sensitivity is there. How much sensitive is this point if you go negative? This point if you go positive. Very sensitive point. So, in the name of Guru Seva, sometime we are going to do, sometime we are going to take Seva from Guru Vishnu. Is a fact. In the name of Guru Vishnu Seva, we are going to take Seva from Guru Vishnu. That is a fact. That's why, we cannot make any improvement in our bhajan. That's why we cannot make any improvement in our bhajan. Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj told that those who are outside people, someday, somehow they can get benefit, someday. But those who are purposely going to do something, manipulation, they cannot get. Big problem can be. Well, you know, so, Anna Vilas, Anna Vilas can come in my life in the form of Guru Seva. Anna Vilas can come in my life in the form of very punctuality. Anna Vilas can come in my life in the form of honesty, dutifulness. But Guru Seva is so fine that I cannot explain in front of you is the question of realization 
any amount of philosophy is not sufficient. Any amount of philosophy is not just sufficient to make you understand. Because you will have to realize yourself. You will have to realize yourself by the help of your bhajan power. Sincerity. No duplicity. Then you can realize. Otherwise, maybe you are very intelligent, very high educated, very intelligent but still, you cannot understand the heart of Guru Pātta. It's not possible. Someday, Srila Bhaktivita Madhu Gosai Maharaj and Gosai Maharaj, both of them coming in front of Prabhupāda and speaking Prabhupāda. From today onward, we cannot uh, collect money or anything. If you take directly, then we can try, but we cannot. Why? Because our many money, whatever amount coming, is not properly utilized. Prabhupāda immediately could realize. What is happening? Papa speaking, that is not your lookout. That is not your lookout. I am there. Do you think I don't know? Do you think I am blind? Do you think I am blind? I cannot see anything what is happening? Then why you can pass this kind of remark? That is not your lookout. You are giving this seva, you do this seva. After that, after that, I can think what to do. What is happening here, I know. But that is not your lookout. Papa is asking them, okay, somebody is going to make some manipulation, okay. But what it concern to you? What it concern to you? He is doing this. You are losing in, you are going to lose your bhajan. He is doing this for that. You are losing your bhajan. Then what it concerns to you? You look at me. What to do, how to do, how to make full of people, how to do, how to give kipa to you, all I know. What to do. So you need not you need not play your head over that. Why you are going to express your concern about this point? Why? Sometimes Prabhupada used to play some very nice role to make full of public. Some amount is going to save up, going to give to save up. Save up. What I can do? Prabhupada speaking, you keep the money with you. I have no place. I have no place to keep the money with you. It's extra, you know. Going to. Papa, no, he has some attraction for money. Take. Extra, I have no place to keep. Keep it with you. As a man, I can ask you. This way, somebody likes to get pratishtha. Papa is giving enough amount of pratishtha to him. He is a great preacher. He is a great orator. See, he is a great. You have done to make full of them. That day I was speaking, now. Guru Vishnu can res can reserve the right of giving punishment to me, at the same time giving kipa to me. Right of giving. Right of giving kipa to me, both can give punishment to me. And sometimes kipa. Kipa means what kind of kipa you are getting? What kind of kipa? Kipa means you can become a realized soul. Kipa doesn't mean. You want to get Pratishta, Gurudev give you Pratishta, money, position. You are the all in all in a Gauriyama. Who is there like you? 
Guru Vishnu can make fool of you. It's very easy. Big, big people coming in front of Bhakti Mishra Thakur, Prabhupada. That day I was writing one article, huh? editing. They used to come, very important personality. Maybe big professor, big, you know, position there. Used to come in front of Bhakti Mishra Thakur. Bhakti Mishra Thakur used to give them huge amount of pratishta. Oh, you are coming to me. I am lucky. Sit, giving big chair, everything giving. And uh, I like to hear something you read, Gita. He is reading Gita and Bhakti is hearing. When Bhakti is gone, that man coming to meet with Prabhupada, Bhimala Prashad. And speaking to Bhimala Prashad, your father, Bhakti Mishra, Prabhupada used to become very annoyed. When this idiot man speaking, your father, Bhakti Mishra Thakur, used to respect me very much. Prabhupada looking at him. He used to hear Gita from me. I used to recite, he used to hear. Bhakti Mishra speaking, you have not seen Bhakti Mishra Thakur in your life. I am speaking that I used to come here and meet him. Very often I used to come. You say no. Again, Baba speaking, I am sure that you have never seen Bhakti Thakur in your life. That the man become very angry. What do you say? Eh? Repeatedly I am speaking that I already used to, I used to come and meet with Bhakti Thakur. You say never meet. He became angry and gone from that place. Then Bhakti Thakur, a hey, Prabhupada, Bhimala Prasad speaking, he could not realize what I mean to say. That the man, educated man, who think my position is very high, but he couldn't realize what I mean to say. He could not realize what I mean to say. I wanted to say that Bhakti Thakur is not an object of our darshan. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur is not an object of our darshan. Gorang Mahapu Dameshwar Gaur Nita is not an object of my darshan. Sri Radha Govindu Gaur is not an object of darshan. And not Guru Vaishnava is not. Rather, Guru Vaishnava can see me. They can look at me, can understand the purity of, purity of our heart or uh, contamination of our, they can realize. We cannot say. We cannot pass any remark. Oh, Kesav go say, Maharaj was no, too much angry. Siddhar go say, Maharaj was very soft. Whenever he used to go, he used to say, he had, sit, sit, sit. So they like to pass remark. Some qualities we can find in Guru Vaishnava just matching with us. I mean matching with our desire. We like to see some softness in Guru Vaishnava. We like to see some softness in Guru Vaishnava. We like to see some Tinadu Vibhav they are expressing. Follow. They are expressing. Some merciful attitude they are showing. We like to, we are very much interested to this kind of quality in Guru Vishnu. But when Guru Vishnu is going to beat me, angry, get out from my place. Let me see, he is not, he is angry. He is not Tinadupi at all. Follow. This is our darshan. With this darshan, we can see only urine and stool, woman, blood and flesh, everything we can see. Bonded soul always like, bonded soul always desire to find some qualities in Guru Vishnu which is the, which they are, which all they are expecting. I mean matching with their, matching with their test. Then it's okay. If you pass this kind of remark, 
Shanta Goswami Maharaj is a very angry man. He has no Trinadapi. Uh, he has become very... Then you are committing Vaishnava Parada. You can fall down. We can see, we cannot see. We can see, cannot see. It depends about, upon our previous sanskar. But Guru Vaishnava having all qualities. Not that Kesav Goswami Maharaj don't, don't have anything other Viva. There is no mercy attitude, merciful attitude. We cannot pass this one. Qualities are there. But I can see only those qualities matching with me. I mean, according to my sanskar, oh, yes, yes, very good. Very good, nice. But not that. Guru Vaishnavas, they have all qualities, but we are blind, we cannot see. All qualities there. Very strange. Our darshan is very strange. That's why we cannot make any improvement in our bhajan. Our darshan is very strange, very dirty. That's why you cannot make any progress in our bhajan. But 100% we can make progress in our bhajan. If we can realize the heart of Guru Vaishnava, if we can harmonize our heart with Guru Vaishnava, then very easily we can, then very easily, very easily we can realize. But for bonded soul is really difficult. But I cannot say it is, it is quite impossible. I cannot say. But he, it is difficult, that I can say. This much I can say. It is very difficult. But I, can, I have no right to say it is impossible. It is possible. If not possible, then how we can go? Impossible, impractical, impossible, we cannot say. It is possible, maybe not possible for me. Maybe not possible for me, but maybe possible for you. I, I cannot say, I have no right to say that is impossible. I have no right to say. So in the name of Guru Shiva, we like to you you like to apply our own brain. But a disciple Having 100% inclination, his voice, his activity is all different. His voice, his activity is all different. Follow. Impossible. Some example we can see, like Bhaktivedanta, Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, Chitra Maharaj, is very rare. Very rare. Bonded soul must try to give importance to their own thoughts, own feeling. In the name of Guru, in the name of Guru Shiva, they are going to give importance to their own feeling, own conception. In the name of Guru Shiva, they like to give importance. So their own feeling, own thoughts, own conception, very careful, very dangerous. So it is really practical. If we can follow a kayan paddhati, one way, no smell of any desire, nothing. Today is the Avirbhav Titi of the Bhakteshwar Pandit, who is the eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, at the same time, eternal person of Radha Govind. Both possible. It is the extraordinary facility, it is the unique facility. That Gauriya devotees, they can, they can get double benefit. Those who are actual Gauriya devotees, they can get double benefit. Follow. One, they can get chance to serve Gauranga 
and at the same time they can get chance to serve Radha Govind. Like the case of Prabhupada. Prabhupada in this body, with this body, externally we see this Prabhupada. Prabhupada serving Gauranga Mapa, Parshad of Gauranga, Bhakti Muttak. Parshad of Gauranga Mapa. But they are also serving Radha Govind. How possible? Simultaneously. Not that after serving Gauranga Mahapu they can serve. Not that. Simultaneously. This is the this is the extraordinary facilities. Unique facil facilities that Gauriya devotees they can get. But is that both they can get the chance to serve Gauranga Mahaprabhu, at the same time, simultaneously, they can get the chance to serve Radha Govindo, which is inconceivable for you. If you play your brain, you can go mad. Better you don't play your head. Try to realize something. Do hurry now. Shed tears, you can realize. I promise you. Someday you can realize. But if you play your brain, you can go down. Rupagoshimpath, Sharbing Gauranga Mahaprabhu in this body, with this body, at the same time in the form of Rupa Manjari, going to serve. Bhakti Thakur, is Bhakti Thakur, Sachyanda Bhakti Thakur, at the same time he is going to serve Radha Govindo in the form of Kamal Manjari, under the guidance of, under the guidance of Lalita Sakhi. Lalita Sakhir Ajagga Kinkari Binoda Dhari Chepai. Bhakti Mataku writing in Kirtan. Eh? The useless, the useless maid servant of Lalita Sakhi Binoda Dhari Chepai. Binoda. Bhakti Mataku going to catch the lotus feet and crying. Though I, I am unfit, but please you can give me qualities. I am unfit, I know. But you have to give qualities. Lalita Sakhir Ajogga Kinkari Binodha Dharisha Pai. So it is the extraordinary facility that you can get. I mean those who are Gauriya devotees. They can get chance, both chances. They can get. One is to serve Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Vishwana Chakudeva wanted to indicate this one. Those who are serving Radha Govindo under the guidance of Ashtakalin Lila of Gauranga, they are 100% successful. Under the guidance of Gauranga Ashtakalin Lila, with the help of this, they are serving Radha Govindo. Vishwanath Chakravarti, we are writing. Now, Bhakkesha Pandit, is the eternal parsad of Gauranga. At the same time, he is also serving Radha Govinda in the form of Tunga Vidya Swaraswati. Tunga Vidya Sakhi. Serving. This Bhakrishya Pandit. If you know about his seva, then you can go mad. You cannot, even in dream, you cannot understand. Actually, he took birth in Gupti Pada. Bhagna Pada is just a previous station of Kalna. Kalna, you went, na? Kalna by ten? Ten by ten? Ah. Kalna is one station. One station before Kalna, you can meet with Bhagna Para. I mean, I told about the place of Janavada Gurani, one Sipat. And one station after, one station after Kalna station is called Bhagna, uh, is called Gupti Para. There he took birth. But after taking birth, after education, everything, he used to stay with Gauranga Mahaprabhu in Navadiv Dham. 
Gauranga Lila all the time. Bhakteshwar used to say, used to say here, dance, kirtan, everything. When, when Gauranga Mahapu took sannyasa, went away to Puru, Puri, Nilachal Nil, Dham, there also Bhakteshwar went. Bhakteshwar went there. He used to stay here also, all the way, Kirtan. I already told that the Mukundo Dattu, I told Mukundo, a, a this, you know, our Pakeshavan, they are the main singer, Kirtan. You can remember when Gorang Mapo went to uh, Ramkeli Gram, Ramkeli village, I mean Sonatan Gusami used to live there, Sonatan group. Ram Kelly, not Bengal. Then Bhakkeshi Pandit was also there. Bhakkeshi Pandit was also, also there. A great devotee who could dance, marathon dance, marathon dance, 72 hours. Marathon dance. How possible? Marathon dance. Starting. One day, Gorang Mahaprabhu going to pass one nice remark. Gorang Mahaprabhu so happy, so happy with Mukundo, Bhakesha Pandit. Very happy. One day Mahaprabhu speaking. Ah. You are my one wing. If I can get another wing, I can fly in the sky. Unlimited sky, no? I can fly. Mukundu, in front of Bhakisha speaking. You are my one main wing. If I get another wing, then I can fly in the sky. Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu is so happy because he is Sankirtan, doing Sankirtan at a stage, 72 hours. He, he is impossible for eh? So, our Siddhanta Vichar, I mean, you should remember, what I, why I started with this sloka? Maha seva daru mahu bimukte stamo daram yashitam sangi sangyam. I told why I started. Because I wanted to explain that Maha seva, I mean, one great exalted devotee, Paramahansa, if we serve them, we can become very quickly, we can get results. But if we do some seva of Maya, I mean Joshit. Joshit means I already explained. Joshit doesn't mean only woman. Joshit doesn't mean only Joshit means any object for which or for whom I feel attraction. One woman feeling attraction for a handsome Brahmachari is called Joshit. For her, he is his Joshit. Follow. Josha. As per Medini Kosh, Bisho Kosh, all big, big encyclopedia. They are giving meaning, inner meaning. So, I like to give you one example. Devananda Pandit was the number one eh, Bhagavad reciter. He used to recite Bhagavatam. Bhagavad speaker. But you can remember, Bhakesha Pandit already done one big opera that was Ruta Sweet of Sivas Pandit. It was before Gorang Mahapur took birth. It was before Gorang Mahapur took birth, that time it will happen. So. Eh? Devananda Pandit. It was before Gorangamo took birth, Sivananda, our 
Srinivasaja who went to hear Bhagavad Katha by Bhakesha Pandit, so reciting Bhagavatam, when our Sivasapurni started crying by hearing the Bhagavad Sloka. Then all disciples they become very angry. They say, oh, you are useless, useless, useless. Why he is crying? We are feeling disturbance. Let us take him and throw outside. All disciples they to catch. Sivasapurni go out, throw outside. But the Guru, I mean, Devananda Pandit is not going to say, you should not do it. This is the symptom. This is the exact symptom. After hearing Bhagavatam, one should develop this kind of reaction. So why you are going to throw him out? So why you are going to throw him out? Why? Why you are going to throw him out? Not speaking. Devananda body not going, not putting any objection. You try to remember, even Gorang, before Gauranga Mahaprabhu, but now Gauranga Mahaprabhu is now 18 years or 20 years, maybe here, Gaurlila. That time, Mahaprabhu become very, very angry. Hello. When Bhakkasya, when uh, Devananda Bodhi reciting Bhagavatam, Mahaprabhu was passing through that place, become very angry. What he know about Bhagavatam? What he know? He knows nothing about Bhagavatam. He is offended. To understand what is Bhagavatam, you must become Bhagavatam. I mean, Bhakta Bhagavat can realize Gonto Bhagavat. Even Mahapu wanted to snatch away. Mahapu wanted to snatch away Bhagavatam from that. What he knows? What he can speak about Bhagavatam? That? And Mahapu wanted to take away. Devananda Pandit was very feeling shy. Devananda Pandit was feeling shy. He has done Aparat. Mahaprabhu told what Sivas, what wrong Sivas Pandit done that you wanted to throw him out of your assembly. You know anything about Bhagavatam? Only you can eh, you, you can recite Bhagavatam like a dry philosopher. Mahaprabhu already told. Like a dry philosopher. Like a dry philosopher, you can only take in Bhagavatam and you can go recite. What do you know? You know anything? You know anything? You are an offender. Mahaprabhu became very angry. But one day Bhakesha Pandit came. That time Mahaprabhu already was there in Puri. Long after, long time after. It was a long time after. Mahaprabhu already took sannyas and gone to Mahaprabhu gone to Puri. That time it happened so. It happened so that Bhakteshwarni came here in Navadivdham. That side. In some devotee's house. In the house of some devotee, Bhakteshwarni was there. He was very familiar. He was very important personality. Everybody know. He was very familiar. His activities is a is a great devotee. He was familiar, familiar to everybody. So naturally, when Bhakteswarni came to the house of that devotee, the people could realize today there was a big sankirtan jagya, ananda. So they took preparation to come. Really so. Bhakteswarni is started dancing continuously. Sweet dancing and kirtan. By watching the Baba, by watching all the Baba of Bhakesha Pandit, all people gone mad. After hearing this kind of kirtan and dancing, all people they cannot remember 
They cannot remember, they will have to go back to home, these, they forget everything, body-related body related thing. And time to time, all congestion, more and more people coming, thousands of people coming. There is no accommodation. There is no accommodation. Thousands of people coming to watch the Aprakita, Nitya Kirtan of, of Bhakishwandis. That time, by chance, uh, lucky that Devananda Pramdi also, somehow, he reached there. He already reached there. Bhakishwandis Pramdi is going there. He is a dry, dry philosopher, but he is watching the Kirtan. By watching the Kirtan, I was so happy. Ah, so nice Kirtan, so nice dancing with him. He was so, eh, staying in Navadip Dham. Finally, he started doing any se one particular seva. What is that? He took one, one danda, uh, one danda like this, and started controlling, started controlling the mass. Hey, help, help, go, push. Don't disturb this kirtan. People, people fighting with each other to see the kirtan. So Devananda Pandit took on stick and started controlling the mass. That was a great seva. He started controlling the mass. He's taking one danda. Hey, oh, don't disturb. This way. That was a great seva done by him. Great seva. After the dancing is over, Devananda Pandit paid one prostate dandavat to Bhakti Paramahamsana, automatically. He automatically. We have seen in the life of Bhakti Bhakti A material people coming from outside. Material people. Whenever I enter the room, Automatically they speak Hari Nam, Hare Krishna Maharaj. By watching. This is a symptom of pure devotees, Paramahansa. Only by wa watching them, coming in front of them, you can develop one kind of extraordinary feeling, power to speak Hari Nam. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dandava. It's quite natural. This is a symptom. You can feel inspiration. Bhaktivinoda Thakur told, Ramanuja Charja told, same thing. Same thing. Ramanuja Charja, Ramanuja Charja told, if you are failure to control your dirty attitude, dirty behavior, if you are just failure, you cannot get control over yourself, your failure, then you do one thing. You can go in front of exalted devotee, pure devotee, and sit in front of him. Sit? I cannot do anything. No, you sit in front of him. You need not do anything. You only sit in front of them. You can watch what they are doing. Only you can watch what they are doing by watching them. And Bhakti Mata already told, Sab Vaishnava Teja, effulgence, power. Bhakti many times told, if Vaishnava is not going to speak even a single word, Bhakti Mataji told, if Guru Vaishnava is not going to speak even a single word with you, don't worry, you sit in front of them. Only you are sitting, only you are sitting in front of them for some time can give you result. Why? But from, from body, from the body of Vaishnavas, some effulgence power coming. And that power entering into your body. If not so, if not so, then how possible that Lakshahira already going to change yours? Because any anyway, Haridas Thakur never wanted to speak anything, only doing Harina. How it was possible, number one dangerous pros, Lakshayika. Only by watching at him, sitting in front of him, and the power coming. 
only three nights, it is more than sufficient to change the overall structure, <laughs> overall structure of his dirty mind. Total change. So we must believe it. Ramachaj also saying, if you have failure to change your dirty behavior, why not you go and send a seat in front of a pure devotee? It's more than sufficient. That is why it is written, if you can go to Ganga and take bath, then you can purify. But you can come in front of a pure Vaishnava, you can get purified. We need not go take bath in. North Mathe writing this in, writing is Kirtan. Gangar Parashi Hai Pavit Paschate Pavan. Gangar Parashi Hai Paschate Pavan. Darshane Pavitra Karo Eito Margo. Only by darshan you can purify. So, by, so by serving Bhakesha Pandit, Devananda Pandit was converted into a devotee. Was converted into a devotee. Somebody asking me that why, why Parambhajwad Kesha Goswami Maharaj going to give the name of the, his temple, Devananda Guri Ma. Huh? Whereas all other Guru Bhargav is speaking, Chaitanya Guri Ma, Si Chaitanya Guri Ma, <laughs> Bhagavad Ashram, so many. But he is going to name uh, Devananda, in the name of Devananda Pandit, Devananda Guri Ma. What can be the reason? We cannot understand. It's a very... Huh? As a big Vedantist, Kesha Goswami Maharaj was the number one Vedantist in the group of Prabhupada. Follow? So fine then. So somebody asking me why, um, I told, why Kesha Goswami Maharaj wanted to keep the name of his mat as Devananda Guru? You say, very good, very practical. Because she wanted to remind us. Kesha Goswami wanted to give us remind every fraction of second that don't try to make any aparad and to the sweet of Guru Krishna. Devananda Pandit done great offense, na? So by speaking Devananda, immediately we should not make any offense and to the sweet of Guru Krishna. So as a reminder, remarkable. I know, this was remarkable. So Devananda Pandit. She was, he was converted into a nice devotee. And also when Mahaprabhu came later, when Mahaprabhu came later, he blessed him, Mahaprabhu blessed him. Because by that time he already done some Vaishnava Seva like Bhakti Seva. Mahaprabhu sitting inside her, Mahaprabhu was very happy. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to bless him. Excuse him. That Bhakesha Pandit, when Gorang Mahaprabhu took sannyas, when Mahaprabhu took sannyas and gone to Purushottam Dham, Nilachal Dham, Nilachal Dham, that time Bhakesha Pandit, that time Bhakesha Pandit also went there to serve Gorang Mahaprabhu round the clock. To serve Mahaprabhu round the clock. Because all the time, Mahaprabhu going to Jagannath temple. Here, they are dancing, doing dancing kirtan. Bhakkesha always there. You can find the name of Bhakkesha Pandit at the time of Rathayatta chariot festival dancing. You can find one group was, by the one groups, one group, because seven group, one group is headed by Bhakkesha Pandit. Seven group. One is Achyutananda, Bhakeshwar, Sivas Pandit, eh, Sarv Gosai, Mukundo, eh, Satraj Khana, like that, Advaita Gosai, Nityananda, seven group. So one group, seven group, one group, always Mahaprabhu used to arrange, one group should be headed by Bhakeshwar It was a system. It was a system set by Mahaprabhu. 
even inside Jagannath temple, inside Jagannath, outside Jagannath temple. Outside means just inside temple, main temple. After that, the Parikrama. Inside, I'm not, I am not. Sometimes I am doing Parikrama of Jagannath Mandir from outside market, but I am not speaking like that. Inside temple, main temple Jagannath. After that, there is all around. Mahaprabhu used to. It is called Uriya language. In Uriya language, it's called Bera Kirtan. Bera. Uriya, Uriya language. It's called Bera Kirtan. Bera Kirtan means? Bera Kirtan means? Round, round the clock of Jagannath temple. Round the clock, they used to do Kirtan. They're going here and coming here. Again doing Kirtan, coming here. All the time. It's called Bera Kirtan. From then onward, from then onward, Bhakesha Pandit didn't think it necessary to come back, leaving Mahaprabhu. So he was there. Always he used to stay there to serve Mahaprabhu round, round the clock. So as a result, he used to stay in Kashimisha Bhavan, Gambira, you went there, Gambira, and the very small castle of Mahaprabhu. That Gambira Mandir, there Bhakti Mandir used to say, it is the, it is the house of Kashimisha Bhavan. The name, the name of the house is Kashimisha Bhavan or Gambira, as you like, you can say. And Bhakti Mandir used to stay there. Bhakti Mandir, uh, uh, Govinda, Sarup Gosai, Raghunath Das Gosai, hello, Ramai Nandai, they all used to say. There. So, Bhakti Bandit, so powerful. So, Gopal Guru Goswami was the disciple of Bhakti Bandit. Gopal Guru Goswami took Diksha from Bhakteshwar Pandit. Bhakteshwar Pandit, Bhakteshwar Pandit already having a very nice parampara. But at present, I cannot take risks to speak openly. The parampara is perfect or not, I cannot say. But it was very nice parampara. Like the case of I already do Samananda Parivar. I already do Samananda. Very strong parampara. Very strong parampara, but now I cannot take risks to speak openly. But I have to check up under the guidance of Sarup Gosai, because Sarup Gosai is very strict. Sarup Gosai is very strict. Anything I like to pass, any any remark, anything I like to write, anything I like to speak Harikatha, all should be approved by Sarup Gosai. Try to understand very important Siddhanta. Anything I am speaking, anything I am writing, anything I am speaking, all should be approved by Sarup Gosai. That was the warning of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. If some Acharya is speaking out of Sarup, out of Sarup Gosai, I mean, not enjoying the approval of Sarup Gosai, be sure is not authentic source. Maybe people can attack me, I know. People, people can become very angry and try to attack me. But it is my request to them, please go through Chaitanya Chaitamito, try to understand the high, you know, Siddhanta Vishal. Any Acharya speaking anything, if it is not approved by Sarup Gosai, then is all useless. Even our Bhakti Thakur, Pahupat, all our Guru Varga speaking. All Guru Varga going to confirm this Siddhanta. Our Guru Varga used to say, anything you speak, anything you write, any Siddhanta, whatever, all should be approved by Sarup Gosai. 
Koshti Pathor, you know. You don't know Koshti Pathor. In Hindi, it is called Kashauti. One, I think you know, but you don't know the name. All, each and every gold man, at present I don't know, previously I know. Each and every goldsmith, gold, gold man, goldsmith man, they have one special kind of stone chip, the stone. If somebody is going to bring some gold, they can take the stone and rub. Then they can see, they can pass remark how much carrot is 22 carat or uh, less or high. It's called Kashauti in Hindi. And in Bengali we say, we say, Bengali we say, it is called, and uh, 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 what I say, just I told, yeah. It is called actually, um, um, oh, oh, just now I told, no? Yes, sir. So, uh, Koshti Pathor, Koshti. I have one Sivji Maharaj of Koshti Pathor, very costly, on Sivji Maharaj. This kind of stone is now very costly. You cannot get even. One only in the whole world, only one hill is there in India. And that also, also taken over by Indian government. Nobody can go to the, the vicinity of that hill. Security guard, nobody, day and night, nobody can allow. Only one hill. That stone is only huge amount of money. Only this part. Koshti Pato. Follow. So our Guru was speaking, until and unless, until and unless your writing, your speech, your Siddhanta, anything, not tested by the by the special stone of testing of Sarvagosha. They are side of gold. It's okay. Until the knowledge it is approved by Sarvagosha, whatever big Acharya, whoever you are, our Gaudiya Samaj, I mean Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, don't care you. Gaudiya Mahaprabhu don't approve. It is a system. But at present, system is broken up. Nobody going to follow. We are having money power, manpower. Oh, he is wise. But it was not, not the system. At present, it's a, they don't care. He can speak all rubbish. All rubbish, never, nowhere written. No, never spoken by Guru Bhargava, nowhere written, nowhere written in Siddhanta. I can show you. Thousands of Siddhanta. International preaching, they are preaching. I show him. Just, you know, previous year, eh, the Siddhanta Vijar came in front, of, in my notice. But it was there for 22 years. But I couldn't see, because I am not checking up internet. He just find up and show me, huh? what is this? In the year of 2002, and that mistake, I see now, so I will have to give fitting answer. I openly speak under whose guidance you are written this Siddhanta. You come with Siddhanta Vishya. They are not coming. They are afraid. Totally wrong Siddhanta about Baldev, Baldev Rasa Leela. Totally wrong Siddhanta. You've gone through that article, no? That was published. You can go and check up. Sometime you can read. I don't know. All wrong Siddhanta. But they are preaching international preaching. Throughout the world, that which. So what we can expect from them? Only this much I can say, under the guidance of our Guru Bharga, if any Acharya, I am less interested about his position, money, power, I am less. Only I can say this much, if his Siddhanta Vichar or any writing, anything, not approved by Saru Gosai, he is not, not authentic. We cannot accept him. We cannot accept him. So this way, Bhakesha Pandit was there. 
Bhakteshwar Pandit established, Bhakteshwar Pandit established Radha Kanto. In Gambira Mandir, when you enter Gambira Mandir, you can find one deity, na? Eh? Radha Govinda. It is called Lord Radha Govinda, Radha Kanto Jiva. That Radha Kanto was established by Bhakteshwar Pandit. That Radha Kanto deity in Gambira Mandir is that Bhakteshwar Mandir. Actually, Kashi Mishra after Mahaprabhu gone, gone to Vrindavan. So, whole Gambira Mandir is under the control of Bhakteshwar Mandir and his parampara. It is actually the house of Kashi Mishra, who is the, who is the guru of the king of Puri, Prataparuddha. He is the guru. Of king. King used to come to message the lotus feet of Kasimisra. King, king is always staying in Kotak, na? Kotak is the, at present Bhubaneswar, at present Bhubaneswar is the kingdom of Orisha. But on those days, Bhubaneswar was not the kingdom, it is Kotak. So Prataparuddha, Prataparuddha time to time used to come to Puri to take darshan of Jagannath and stay for maybe five, seven days at a stretch. Five, seven days at a stretch. And that time, that time it that time it was that time it was the usual rule that the king every day used to come in the noontime and message the lake of Kashimisra. It is there written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Every day, king used to come and message the lake of Guru, Kasimishra. But Kasimishra, after Mahaprabhu gone, he left everything, he left. So total, uh, uh, total Kasimishra Baban, Gambira, now under the control of Bhakkesha Pandit Parampara. So I cannot pass any remark, but I can pass remark very safely about Bhakkesha Pandit, Gopal Guru Goswami, Dhanchanda, Dhanchanda, you know, I already published one book, Dhanchanda Padhati, the procedure of secret bhajan. My Guru Mahārāja told me to publish, so I publish. Dhanchanda Padhati. Dhanchanda. Dhanchanda was the disciple of Gopal Guru Goswami. Gopal Guru is the disciple of Bhakkesha Pandi. So, very strong parampara. At present, I cannot say. I have no idea, unnecessary, I cannot speak anything. Because about Shamananda Pariva, I told you many times, a very strong parampara. Very strong parampara, so powerful. Until recently. Recently, even at the time of, even at the time of Prabhupada, Vishambarananda Dev, Vishambarananda Dev Goswami, it's very powerful. Papa told, in my life I have not seen such a powerful man who is having full knowledge about Shatrasandra, Shatrasandra, Sikh Sandra. Papa, who was the chairman of that assembly in Bali Ghai? This is Vishambara. After Vishambara, there was another powerful Acharya. After that, I think uh, Kanupriya Goswami. Now, nah, that time I mean, that time from him, Kanupriya Goswami. He was also very powerful in Siddhanta Vichar. But when Vidyavinod and that they left Prabhupada, they went there to took Diksha from him. Follow. They left Prabhupada. For some unknown reason. <laughs> and they went there to take Diksha from. But he was also very nice. Very Tattavit. After that, one or two parampara I cannot say. I cannot pass any remark. But that is why Prabhupada wanted to establish Bhagavad Parampara. That is why. Prabhupada wanted to establish Bhagavad Parampara. Because 
Mantra Parampara can be successful, cannot be successful. Not that Guru Maharaj wanted to make him Acharya. So he is Acharya. Not that. It depends upon how much he is adjusted with Guru Pātva. According, according to that degree, we can give value to his Acharya Sip. Otherwise, it is not the question of, I am mighty Himalayan man. <laughs> Somebody can say, I am mighty Himalayan man. Who are you? I can... This is not the question of fighting. One big Acharya going to make somebody Acharya, that doesn't mean he is 100%. Not that. It depends upon how much he is adjusted with Guru. How much he is reconciled, I mean, how much he is, you know, harmonized with Guru Pātva. Maybe he is not harmonized. Not even 10%. Totally opposite. Then parampara is break up. You cannot say parampara is successful. Parampara means? I told you that day, now, from men, from electric station, that power can come to a main power station. Then after that, after that disbursement, after that disbursement station, from that disbursement power, then come to our, uh, you know, meter box. From there, if it is connected with this, uh, then you can get. If no connection is in, in between some, in between some, a uh, mistake, loose connection or breakage, then you cannot go. So you will have to, you have to go and make the wiring in such a way so that you can get the power from there. That is the scientific procedure what Prabhupada wanted to say. That is the same. It is not question of fighting. Ah, our Acharya. Fighting what you can do. With absolute truth, Fighting, you, ca you cannot stand in fighting. Absolutely absolute. Your agitation, your fighting, your gun, your money power cannot give any result. But absolute is absolute. This is Siddhanta. First of all, you will have to see that Acharya, who wanted to prove himself as the international Acharya, first of all, you will have to check up what all is Siddhanta. Is matching with Prabhupada or not. Otherwise, you can throw it out. If you go, th go through that parampara, you can get zero. You have to bend, you have to take a turn and come. Like the case of, you know, our, you know, Pitama Vishwa. Pitama Vishwa directly. Pitama Vishwa is not ordinary. Because you are going to count his name, na? At Dadas Mahajan, 12th Mahajan. Counting or no? Shayangur Narada Sambhu Kumara Kapila Mamu Kumara Kapila Manu Pralada Vishmo Janako Bolir Vayasakir Vayam Dada Suite Bijani Mo Dharmam Bhagavatam Bhatta Guiyam Vishuddham Durvadhyam Jadgatam Vitma Jamraji Maja speaking. We twelve know all in details about Bhagavatam. Nobody else, total. I mean, those who are in line with them, they can go. So this, out of this twelve margin, one is Pitama Vishya. Pitama is going to declare, Pitama Vishya going to declare openly. It is one kind of evolution. It is one kind of evolution. Pitama Vishya is going to say, hey! Guru Rapi, Abhilitapsha. Guru Rapi, Abhilitapsha. Karja Karja Majanato. It is the rules. It is the rules to throw your guru. I am not speaking. If you become angry, I have nothing to do. I told now. In the name of in the name of Parampara Seva, in the name of Guru Seva, we are going to follow our mind, our director. Director is our material mind. We are doing extern externally, we are doing Guru Seva. But internally, we are not doing Seva. Even get an exhibition. In the name of Guru Seva, we are following, we are going to follow the instruction of the director, material mind. So, Pitama Vishya told, Guru Opi, though he is Guru, though he is Guru, he should be thrown away. Guru Rapi, 
अवलितस्य कार्यकार्य मजान तो उत्पद प्रतिबंध परित्याग विधि अति इट इज द रूल्स टू थ्रो गुरु फॉलोइंग गुरु इफ यू कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट बाय चांस यू फाइन फॉलो आई टोल्ड यू फॉलोइंग गुरु डजेंट मीन दैट वुमेन एसोसिएशन आउट ऑफ लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा वी कैन वेरी बिग आई एम द मान की बैल फॉल डाउन फॉल डाउन टेन आर वी गॉन फॉल डाउन वुमेन फॉल डाउन डजेंट मीन ओनली वुमेन मेनी टाइम मेनी टाइम रिपीटेडली आई टोल्ड सो दैट this siddhanta vichar can go and touch the heart of all devotees all over the world only women association not the symptom some old man not going to feeling any attraction for women by his fault out due to aparad but people so idiot they are not going to accept they are biased they are totally biased I has done so much. I told you all. There is a very nice pot of milk, full of pure milk, but useless if I am going to throw one drop of wine. Same thing happened. Many such happen. What kind of seva done by Sundarananda? Vidyavinod, you cannot even imagine. You cannot even imagine. I say you cannot imagine such a seva done by Sundarananda, Vidyavino Ji. What kind of important seva done by him? You cannot imagine. This kind of writing not possible for anyone. But still, after doing Vishnu Bhavara, gone. But Sudhir Ji, what kind of enormous seva done by him? But after that. so i can discuss next week very special siddhanta which has spoken by prabhupad today i am going to stop but before stopping i like to touch this shloka it will take long time mahas seva dar mahu vimukte stamo daram jashitam sangisam mahas sevam mahas sevam dar mahu vimukte If you are going to serve any exalted person, a great devotee, it can make it can make your door open to get out of Maya. Mahaseva dar, Mahaseva am dar, Mahu bimukte, Stamo daram, Jashi tam sangya sangya, Jashi sangha. It will take long explanation. I already told, so I am not going to touch again. And who is Mahat? महानता स्ते समचित्ता प्रशांता दोज आर महा एक्साल्टेड दे आर समचित्ता दे आर माइंड इज इक्वी पॉइस्ड बैलेंस्ड दे आर नॉट पॉलिटिशियन दे आर नॉट इन ए ग्रुप महानता स्ते समचित्ता प्रशांता प्रशांता माने नो कामा पीसफुल देन I mean, very short discussion. I speak. Mahanta se samajitta prasandya bimon na baha. They never become angry. They never become angry. Shruhi doha shada boje. He is going to search out the benefit for all creature. he is going to search out the benefit of all creature not man so how he can become angry my god brother you are yeah, not man they are animal what is this you become angry that's when you lose everything in whole life i heard from my guru maharaj in whole life nobody could see the angry attitude of madhav goshi maharaj in whole life nobody could see the angry attitude of of bhakti hridaya banode goshe ma in whole life nobody could see the angry attitude of sridhar goshe ma bhakti pumat puri goshe ma never they never never speak any rubbish even some grand disciple of guru pad padma he is speaking all rubbish against maharaj yeah, actually he is busy with archan is kanishta devotee 
but still he is not angry. When somebody is going to carry out this message and speak, <laughs> why you become angry? Why you become, why you are feeling, you know, why you are crying? I thought I have no position. At least he is going to give me some konishto adhikari. I thought I have no position. Oh, oh. why are you feeling worried? Eh? Don't worry. At least he is going to give me the and a position that I am Kanishya devotee. You cannot imagine. Now of cats and dog and fox, they are riding plane and a sea car. But that time, even Prabhupada travelling with local train. Follow. Bhakti Pramod Purigashima, long ago, I am speaking about, now Gurudev gone 22 years minimum. Eh? Okay? After that you can add another 30 years. I mean, 50 years back, or 52 years back. Guru Patani used to go by local train, no money, nothing, get one ticket and sit. And the wicked, the rascal, you know, outside people, no? they used to joke with him. Joke with him, find a old man, old man, joking with him. Sometimes putting their hand on the head of Gurudev. They're putting hand. They're putting hand on the head of my Guru Patpad. The rascal people, material people. Then if the Sevak becomes, hey, why you are putting hand on the head of this, you know, exalted devotee? Then Guru Patpad, why you, why you become angry? They are blessing me. You don't know. <laughs> Guru Bhagavan is never angry. Whether the Seva will be angry. Hey! You are putting hand on, the, on his head. You know he is him. Guru says, why you become angry? They are blessing me. Na? You cannot see. So you show me. It is my request unto your lotus feet, you all. You show me such devotee. Only you can see fight. He is useless, he is useless, you idiot, right? Rascal, they are animal, they are not God, but this is Vaishnava. This is not Vaishnavism. Prabhupada told who going to claim that I am Vaishnava and the only Acharya. Prabhupada told he is a branded of Vaishnava. Uh, today I don't like to speak anymore, time is over. You are feeling so much hot with full patience, waiting, you know. I am very happy. <laughs> so, Mahatseva Daro Mahu Mahatsevam Daro Mahu Vimukte Stomo Daram Jashitam Sangi Sangyam Mahantas Te Samajitta Prasandya Biman Nabaha Srihido Sadhavoji Banchakal Patrushike Pasind Bhaj Patitanu Bhavana Krishna. How much how much patience you all have? Any hot weather you are coming. Eh? So a special keeper you are getting. <laughs>